Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a free website with a hosting company called 000 Web Host. Now, with this, you will also get a free subdomain name. There will be some limitations, which I'll point out along the way, um, and there will be advertisements, I guess, to subsidize the fact that this is a free uh, website hosting platform. Um, you do have the option to upgrade, which I'll show you that too. Uh, but what I'm going to do in this video is walk you through the step from account creation to installing WordPress to setting up WordPress, uh, just so you know how that process looks. Now, would I personally host my website on this platform? Um, I'm a true believer that you get what you pay for. Uh, so like I said, there will be some limitations. It might not be for everybody, especially if you have a business with a lot of traffic um, because of those limitations. So let's, let's go ahead and take a look at some of this. So if you go to 000webhost.com, you'll see what I'm talking about here when we look at the pricing section. So uh, for free web hosting, zero dollars and zero cents per month, uh, you will get one website, 300 megabytes of disk space, um, limited bandwidth of three gigabytes per month, and no email accounts. Whereas you have these other options over here where you get more disk space and more bandwidth, um, in some cases unlimited. Uh, but I've personally not tried out any of these uh, hosting options. What we're gonna do today is only look at the free option down here. So if you just need like a basic landing page or um, something to show your social links, uh, basic blog, something like that, this this will work perfect for you. So let's go ahead and do the free sign up. I'm gonna type in my email and I'm gonna type in a password and repeat my password and sign up. Um, now, I think what happens here is that they'll send you a verification email uh, before you can get started. So it's going and uh, creating the account. Yep, we sent you a confirmation email. Uh, so let's go ahead and verify that. I have my email inbox over here. Let's see, there it is. Uh, so we'll click here to verify my email. That takes us back over to 000webhost.com. And I think it'll send us another email at some point uh, once it's through the, okay, so their email's verified. Let's see, get started. Um, what would you like to do? Uh, what happened over here? Let's create some magic. Oh, right, okay, so uh, here we go. On the original page or on the new page that you clicked on, you can either go through this wizard as you see on the screen. I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, because I, I, I have a lot of familiarity with um, hosting websites and WordPress and all that stuff. There is this option down here, if you don't wanna go through that wizard, uh, that says, it's not my first rodeo, take me to the panel, okay? And the panel that they're talking about is cPanel. You might or might not be familiar with that, um, but what we're gonna do is set up cPanel at this point. So uh, I'm gonna have a password over here that I already picked out. I'm gonna paste in that password, like, comment, subscribe, one, two, three, exclamation point, and um, you can, you can or cannot type in a password or a, a website name at this point. I'm gonna leave that blank and click on submit in order to uh, set up my cPanel, which cPanel uh, control panel, it's a, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second here. It allows you to interact with different uh, aspects of your web hosting for your website. So uh, the website itself, maybe some domain names. Um, sometimes you have access to a uh, terminal inside of the cPanel and all that stuff. Uh, but like I said, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Um, okay, so what do we wanna do? Do we want to use the website builder that they give us, 000 web host? Do we wanna install WordPress or upload a site? You can feel free to do either one of these, um, but I, what I'm gonna do is install WordPress. So I'm gonna select that option um, and type in the WordPress credentials. So this is a new WordPress website. So we're gonna say my admin username is gonna be Tony Teaches Tech. Uh, my admin password, smash the like button one time, and the language is gonna be English, so we'll install that. And uh, from my experience, this takes a bit to install, so we'll just fast forward through this part. All right, guys, as you can see here, that has finished. It says, congratulations, it's ready. Your WordPress is now ready for configuration. So let's go to the configuration page. And uh, we're gonna log in with our WordPress credentials, which we typed in earlier. So do that and that, log in. And there we go. So we are in our WordPress dashboard. Um, as you can see, there is a, a big advertisement here. 
uh, pr self promoting for uh, hosting with 000 web host. Um, let's see if we can get out of that. Yeah, we can get rid of that. Uh, you got um, what what happens here is this is not a vanilla install of WordPress. There's a lot of plugins in what I consider to be bloat that they add to your website. Um, so what I recommend doing right off the bat is to go into the plugin section and getting rid of, um, yeah, pretty much all of these plugins. So what we're gonna do is click on the checkbox at the top and deactivate them. And that'll uh, deactivate them from being active on your website. And then we can delete them uh, completely. So that'll get rid of uh, a lot of these pop-ups, not the advertisement, but a lot of these, you know, welcome to Shapely, that'll go away next time. Um, what, what does our website look like? Uh, let's click on this and uh, we have some type of theme going on here. Um, the theme color lib theme. Um, we can change the theme. I'll show you how to do that real quick. Uh, these are basic WordPress things now at this point because you 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 have your your free WordPress website at this point at this URL. I'll show you how to change that URL in a second. Uh, but if we go to appearance um, and themes, uh, you can pick another theme. Uh, one of the popular themes is uh, the the default theme WordPress 2021. Uh, so we can activate that, and once that's active, you can go back to your website and see that the complete theme of your website has changed. Now, um, like I promised, let's go back to our tools, uh, set a web address. So here, um, instead of the URL, what's our URL now? It's in, I don't even know what the, how to say that, Kapachi in... Yeah, something dash Kapachi dot zero 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 dot web host. Uh, we can get a, a different subdomain name, or you can connect your own domain name if you already have it or buy one. Um, so let's add a domain name, and uh, we will do this one. Hit next, and the domain name. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, this is for. Uh, I'm, I'm misguiding you here. Uh, that's for a uh, a new domain name. Um, Actually, give me a second here. Okay, guys, sorry. I'm, it looks like things have changed since the last time I was in here. So um, yeah, if you go back here to website settings and click on general, you'll see that the website name has been assigned to you. Whereas before uh, you were able to pick this, this subdomain name. Um, so that's different. But uh, again, if you wanted to put a more professional domain name on it, this is just gonna link us back here. Uh, if you click on the here button, uh, the here link, it's ex going to ask you to either purchase a new domain name or uh, bring one in uh, that you purchased somewhere else. Um, so, so yeah, around here, let's see what else we got. We got uh, on the general page um, FTP information. If you need to interact with the actual files of your website, you can connect to the FTP server there. Um, changing your password and changing your PHP version. Um, some stuff about sending mail. You can send up to 50 emails per day from within your WordPress website. Um, yeah, a bunch of a bunch of settings that you can configure here. You have some statistics as far as how much uh, bandwidth you're using. You, there's your 300 megabytes bandwidth quota. Um, cron jobs, this is more advanced uh, things, redirects, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, this this you can play around in here and uh, change some of those settings. Uh, but if you want to go back to your WordPress website, that's always available um, in your website settings general. And then you can click on that link to go to your WordPress website. Uh, what uh, I will show you quickly is how to write a blog post. So if you go into your WordPress admin dashboard by clicking on this panel up here, or uh, if that's not for some reason not showing for you, you can go to dash WP or slash WP dash admin and that'll take you there too. And then you can go to uh, blog posts and add a new blog post. And what I'm gonna do is just make a um, simple blog post like hello world from Tony teaches tech. And then I have some content over here that I'm just gonna paste in, but this is this is the basic process of writing a blog post. Um, and then if we want to publish that, we can publish hit publish and that's now live on our website so we can view the post, what that looks like. 
Hello World from Tony Teaches Tech. There we go. Now, if you want to learn more about um, how to get started with WordPress, I have this video, uh, 15 important things to do after installing WordPress. So I recommend that you check that out next. Any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe for more like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.